The Tri-County Beef Cow Series program is a program that myself, along with my team members, Major W. Stevenson Jr. over in Fort Bend County and Kenneth McCullough over in Waller County. It's a program that starts from start to finish. You know, it shows you basically from starting from the ground, show you that you can really stay out that feed sack and save that money. Tri-County Beef Cattle Program is several different methods of production of beef cattle. Uh, and we have taken, uh, in the early stages, we are trying to show the producers to start with your soil. And uh, over the last year, we have focused mainly on soils and forages. We came up with the idea of the program because in all three counties, on a daily basis, we're working with beef cattle producers, we're working with forage producers, and we decided to implement this into our plan of works to try and educate individuals across the three county lines with them all being connected. Some of the, the problems that the producers in Washington County are faced with, the same producers are faced with them in Waller County as well as Fort Bend County. So we felt as though if we could bring producers together as a tri-county program that they could network together and amongst their sales they can talk about problems that they're seeing or ways that they corrected a particular problem in their areas. The small acreage improvement project ties into the tri-county project. It's a demonstration where we could bring the producers out of the counties to the university and actually see different types of fencing, different types of forages, see when to plant, proper planting dates, proper fertilization applications through soil samples and uh, following the recommendations of the soil lab. Some days they're very receptive and some days they're not. It's a challenge every day to be able to go out and communicate with the producers because it's a barrier set out front from the early stages of, of operation. So once I get a, over the barriers, we can have open lines of communication and trust. So first I have to build a relationship with my producers as men or women and then I come at them with, from an agricultural production stand. Cattle business is a full-time job. I mean, half the time you never know, we might have cows out or whatever, and you got to come manage, check it out, check the fence line out. Cows might turn around, cow might be having a calf. We got to check that out. The first time having a calf, might have to pull the calf out from the cow. Uh, checking on the grass. You know, we didn't have a hard summer this time. Last year we had a real hard summer in the water was real low so we had to go had to go up front get the well ready for all that the lakes went dry cows got kind of thin a little bit so after talking to agent stevenson after that he said well hey let me help you out and i said okay no problem he came out and checked the forage out checked the grass and the woods and all that show you know let me know what was going on what did i need to do so i went listened to him for a little bit and managed and kept on. He comes out and every day and check it out by this being Fort Bend. And I grew up in Fort Bend, you know, because I grew up the old fashioned way. Mm -hmm. Not now, you know, how everybody is doing certain different things. And the old, fa the old way, you don't have a corporation in the extension. So the old cow men, like I said, my uncle and my grandfather, they just old cow men. If I say, well, we need to do it like that, no, they, it's the old way. So I still have the old way and the new way and I try to put it in together. I got a lot of knowledge out of it. 
a lot of knowledge out of it. Because like I said at first, everything was old fashioned. So after listening and going to three of them, because I couldn't make the rest of them because I'm always either working cattle, going catch a bull or rodeoing, I put two and two, two and three together, go home, think about it a little bit, and it worked out pretty good. So as I was growing up, you know, I was, man, I'm on a little old shelling pony. I'm driving cows. I'm like, wow. So I'm getting pretty good. And as you got older, you get kind of rough sometimes. But just like my place right now, uh, we have, like I said, we got the three hundred, four hundred thousand dollar houses on one side. You have the million dollar houses on the other side. And as of right now, they're trying to buy the land, but it's hard to find land at this time period. And for us to be really the only black owned biggest play, uh, pasture right here, it's hard to yeah, to keep it up really. As far as cattle, the fences, I'd say with the help of uh, Agent Steve Stevenson, it came in handy pretty good. He came in right on time. Because if it was up to me, I'd let the bad boy grow up and let the cows eat and go like they used to. But that goes back to your grass. You have to have good grass in order to have your cattle healthy and strong. So that's how it goes. people here, I mean, it's lovely. I really love it. Uh, they're really receptive to me. I've been, like I said, I finished school here and was able to come back and give back to the community. Now they see me as a professional individual now, besides, you know, football man, a rodeo man, but they see me as a, you know, agriculture man. So I really feel good about that. Go to the donut shop in the morning and everybody say, hey man, what y'all got going on at Prairie View? You know, I like hearing that, so. Yes, I'm Lewis Rogers of, of uh... Uh, I live in Pine Island, and uh, I've been here for the last four years. So I'm, I'm great, great to be. It's good to be here. I'm, 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 I represent my alma mater, class of '72. To be honest, I'm a city guy. Knew absolutely nothing about cattle, but when they told me I could get uh, an exemption, of course, you know, I went straight for it. Bought me a few cows. Didn't have a clue about what to do. Only thing I knew: give them some water, give them some feed. Didn't know anything. And so uh, that's, how, that's really kind of how I got into it. And, and uh, with the help from the extension agent, it, it, it has really been a great help to me because now I understand fencing. I understand how to sick, you know, uh, section off my, my, my few uh, small acres. I have 10 and a half acres of land, yeah. Well, one, one, of, the, one of the greatest challenges I had was, um, and, I, and I have to say this, was a fence. I had no clue about making, you know, doing fences, how to fortify them. And my cow, the, the cows that I had kept going over in my neighbor's pasture. And then I got, a, I got a few tips here and there, tighten up my fence, put me a little electric uh, a line on it, which helped me. But uh, in terms of knowing anything about uh, cattle, um, I just really knew nothing about them. Of course, it, it's, a, it's a way of uh, that you have to protect them with their shots or immunizations, things like that. I had, I, I knew it probably should have been done, but I didn't know really how to do it. Uh, I've, I've since learned how to give a few immunizations. Um, I got a lot, a long ways to go, but I still, I'm, I'm, I'm improving. They say, well, why don't you call your extension agent? And I say, extension agent, because I didn't have a clue. They say, yes, there's an extension agent out of Prairie View. And all you got to do is call and let somebody know what it is that you, 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 you know, the information you need, because I was willing to pay somebody to come down to tell me what to do. And he says, oh, no, just call the extension agent and uh, in your area, extension agent will inform you of how to do and what to do. And it has been it has been good ever since. <laughs>
The limited resource producers that we are working with through the Cooperative Extension Program, uh, their challenges are more so in their mindset of the way things used to be. So we have an obstacle of getting these producers out of these old mindsets of ways of doing things and try to better educate them on the advantages and the economics of the new practices that are available to them. My name is Cephas Riggins. I'm originally from Vinton, Louisiana. I was born and raised on a little farm in Vinton. I've always been around farm animals. Basically, um, it's a way of life for me, and I've also found it to be a great opportunity to teach my son the value of things. I found uh, in my operation, uh, we have a, a saying that we say around here is that when I look for help, help says find me. And so I've learned to adapt and become uh, a one-man operation. Once we close this gate behind me, the cows can no longer go back in the bigger space. They, they're in here. And this is where we began to work. Now, the county agent, Mr. Neal, came in and he helped me put this piece in right here. This is what we call a sweep system. Uh, and I purchased this with his blessings. And basically, the purpose of the sweep system is to work the cattle into the chute uh, for either palpation, uh, worming, or if we're going to load them and take them to the market. And so what we do is we, we have the cows in this area, we run them into the chute, and we close the gate behind them. But the way it's designed as a one-man operation, I push the cows forward, and if they turn around on me, I can close it, and they can't come back out. Once we get them up in the chute area, and we have them closed in here, they can't go back. But we have what we call a back alley stop. This is another piece of equipment that Mr. Neal uh, thought would be great for the farm. And as a one man operation, this back alley stop uh, connects such as this. And when the cow comes through, they push it up. They try to back up, they can't back up. Uh, it's a good piece of equipment, it's sturdy. Uh, for one man operation. Uh, safety is paramount <clears throat> in any uh, type of agricultural business and these type of things I think turn out to be a great investment for me uh, with the help of the county agent and showing me how to properly use them and how to make them work uh, in my favor. I feel if you don't bring the next generation along with you, in time you'll be lost. So as, as for the stakeholders of the county or the representatives of the corporate extension program, uh, the next generation is what has kept Prairie View a and University alive. We, we wouldn't be here in 2010 if it weren't for the next generation. Just come see where we're going. You know, you can look at the newsletters and you can look on the internet, but just, I mean, I realize a lot of stakeholders are busy, you know, like we get busy with our job. Just come see what we do. You can have some time off or whatever, you know, come see the program. You know, as far as our stakeholders go, I think that they all have a common mission of educating producers, uh, making sure that their tax dollars are being utilized in the manner in which it was set aside for to educate producers on ways that they can better manage their operations, be better stewards of the land, and also in the long run have some type of economic impact to help sustain their operations.